Ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Pound of the Land haul, Poundland haul. I am absolutely loving Poundland at the moment. In fact, why do I say at the moment? Because I'm loving home bargains, I'm loving B&M's, I'm loving every bargain you can get hold of. I love it. So I popped into Poundland um, because recently we've got a new Poundland. Um, it's it says Pepinco, which is a clothing brand. It's like a bigger Poundland with the clothing brand inside. But I did have a look at the clothing and I was like. I don't think I'm going to waste my money on it because it didn't look amazing quality. Let's get started on um, everything I picked up in Poundland. So I picked up this bag. They literally, every time I go into Poundland, I've ran out of the bags. And I'm like, look, I need that bag for my thumbnail for this video. So um, we'll just have to do with this like weird leopard printy bag. So first item I picked up in Poundland is this lovely like love heart um, wine glass it's just got this gorgeous love hearts all over it and I think for a pound you just can't go wrong with one of these things because I literally use this all year round and if I smash it which I'm very clumsy and we don't have a dishwasher um, it's not the end of the world so I got a beautiful love heart mug not mug wine glass <laughs> Then I picked up some screen wash because my car is always running low on screen wash and it's just an essential, isn't it? And um, the, when I bought this, I actually needed to literally top it up and that was a week ago and I've still not topped it up. I've still got a tiny bit, don't worry guys, I'm not breaking the law, but I did need um, some more screen wash. That's like a 2.5 litre and for one pound, that's not bad at all, so I got that. Then I was in their Valentine's section and I got this really funny mug. Basically, I'm not going to spend loads of money on Valentine's gifts for Lou. I think guys have got it easy. Just buy them flowers, buy chocolates. Um, you don't have to spend too much money to please us. And I'm sure I'd be happy with the bouquet flowers. That'd be very nice. Um, so for Lou, I just got some like jokey kind of gifts to put in like a nice Valentine's gift bag. And I'll probably get him like a beer or something to go with it. So I got him this mug off, you're so fit, run and get me a brew mug. I just thought that's quite, a f it's just a funny little gift, isn't it? Um, to be fair, he doesn't really drink hot drinks, so this is probably going to be for me. So I'll give it to him and say, go make me a brew, mate. So yeah, I got that. When I say mate, so he's like, hey, stop calling me a mate, I'm your boyfriend. I'm like, yeah, but you're my mate too, so I can call you that. So I got that. <laughs> Then I got these love tokens and I literally love the idea of these love tokens because it's basically like, it says breakfast in bed, you win the argument, order our favourite takeaway, road, road trip to the seaside, it just gives loads of different ideas of different things you could do for like date nights or date days and I really like that idea so I got that and I'm just really happy with that I think that is just it's just the perfect IOU for the token of your affection one pound you can't go wrong with that. that's like literally quite an expensive throughout the year present but I just think it's quite nice just to give it to someone you can pick a token on the day you've got both got a day together and then you can use it so I got that then from the Valentine section I got this hat balloons 10 pack because I just thought they're really cute for like um, Valentine's Day. I can scatter them around the house and I just thought very nice for, for one pound. I keep them for one pound. Sorry, guys, it's really annoying. But look at that. How cute are they? Little love hats. That's so cute. A love hat balloon. I'm going to have them like scattered around the flat. I think that's so cute. I don't really know why I got this. Like, we don't argue that much, but it's an apology pad. I thought it would be quite funny though if you're bickering or like you're annoyed at him for like eating something in the house you don't want them to eat or something but basically it's just this pad <coughs> inside the box it's an apology pad so say if Lou eats my favourite packet of crisps on my Ben & Jerry's ice cream without me knowing you could put to Harriet from Lou date I'm sorry that I ate your cookie dough ice cream um, I'll make it up by cooking dinner tonight if he watches that um, but yeah it's just quite a cool little thing and I just think I could not sure when it's going to get used, but if one of us had done something funny that's not funny and annoying, we'll do it like a little apology pad. Um, so I'm going to wrap that up in his little Valentine's gift box thing. So I think that's quite a cute idea. Is it going to go back in? Probably not, and then it won't look like it's new. So I got that. Then I got this really funny, like, inflatable beer bottle cushion. Rest your head and think about beer. Um, Lou's not really a huge beer drunk. He's more of, like, a cider drinker or a gin drinker. But I just thought for, like, when he has a bath, he could have a bath with his cider or whatever and um, have his little cushion on the back of his head. And I think that would be really funny. Um, so I got him that. To be fair, it's probably more junk to have around the flat. But you know what it's like, guys. Just buy them it and hope for the best. So I bought him it and I'll hope for the best there. 
and I got these three sponges because I'm having a nightmare at the moment to get my fake tan off. Like literally, can you comment below any amazing scrubs that get your fake tan off? Because sometimes mine just does not come off in them awkward places that you want it to come off. I fake tan nearly every other day because I'm obsessed with fake tan. I don't leave the house without a little glow. Like you wouldn't believe how pale I am. Like so pale. So I always have a subtle glow to myself. And so I got these three sponges to scrub off the tan in them really annoying areas. Then Poundland had a 25p like New Year sale section. I got this spaghetti server thing because it's actually something we don't own. And if it's not amazing, I mean, you can't really get a rubbish spaghetti server, I'm assuming. So 25p, I got that. And it's just like a silver colour, but I'm not too picky what colour it is. Then I picked up some really nice um, L'Oreal Skin Perfection Nourishing Cleansing Wipes because basically I just feel like my wipes at the moment are just not doing me favours. My skin's having a bit of a situation but I'm trying to like control it. Like it's only a couple of like blemishes around my face and um, little breakouts. But I think it's just because it could just be winter, my face is dry, I need to get more moisturiser on my face. Um, so I got these L'Oreal Facial Wipes because I'm not one really for expensive skincare. I don't really focus too much on my skincare so I got these and for one pound I was like I'll try them and if they're amazing then at least I know I can get them for a pound in Poundland. <laughs> then I got these Bic razors because I'm not going to spend more money than a pound on razors um, and I need to get my legs shaved because we're coming into this, well we're not really, it's snowing outside but you know what I mean, it's coming more into summer and I need some razors so I got them. Then I picked up this Right Guard shower gel. And it smells like Lou. If you're watching this and you're new, Lou is my boyfriend. And I just smell it and I just think, oh, it smells like Lou. He has a certain aftershave we use when we go on holidays, like abroad. Um, it just smells like him. It's really weird. So anyway, it's a Right Guard Orchid um, scent. And it just smells lovely. And so for one pound, I always stock up on a couple of the Right Guard ones when we're in Poundland. So I got that one and I got that one too. This one is a... Blossom scent with argan oil, and this one smells really nice too, but they last a couple of weeks in the shower room, so for a pound, at least I've got my little cupboards, my little stockpile stocking up in there. I picked up these lovely, like, um, rose gold zebra pens, zebra, zebra, if you watched my other Poundland hauls, weeks ago actually, I picked up these, and they were doing me really, they were doing me really well at work for like, work pens, um, just one did actually burst in my pocket which I wasn't too impressed about but it had been used like literally every single day for about a month. So I got these two more pens to replace them and I found having a more luscious pen at work with them being rose gold, I didn't lose the pens. Look how nice they are. Like I didn't actually lose them whereas if I get some random pens that are in the office, um, just some black biro pens and I just find I just like oh, I don't like you so I just leave it and then someone else obviously steals the pen. So when I've got a rose gold pen, if someone steals it I'll be like okay you know that is my pen and I picked it up in Poundland and I know you've taken my pen. But if I've got the, av the average biro from the office, I'm not gonna know. So I picked up some pens. Then I got Lou some Airways um, because, oh how was it my? Every time I'm in Poundland Lou always asks me to get this so I got the three of them. Last but not least, I'm going to end on something really nice because I was so happy to buy these. So I basically got this really nice, I don't want the light to sort of reflect off it, but this gorgeous rose gold um, pinky, like look how nice they are, notebooks. So I got that one and then this other one which is just like gorgeous, look at that guys. So they're just two light pink with like rose gold speckles all over them. I'm going to use them as like my YouTube video planning books and like... <laughs> books that I need to get stuff done. Do you know that way? I gotta get stuff done, so I'm gonna write them down. I think that one's probably my favourite. It's so beautiful. For one pound though. And they're actually, they're lined inside as well. I prefer lined books and they're lined inside. So that is perfect. That is the last two items I picked up in Home Bargains. No, it's not Home Bargains. That is the last items I picked up in Poundland. It was doing really good. And do you know what? I just can't believe you go in there, you get all these items and it didn't even come to that much. I think it was literally like 20 something pounds. So I was so chuffed with that. I'm just looking at the items now thinking, you're probably all going to be counting the items now to see how many is, but how many items we got that came to that? I think it's about, yeah, I think it was about £20. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you're new and you've just found my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me and give it a huge thumbs up. It makes me know, it lets me know that you like these types of videos. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all later. Bye!